It is always a joy to see a classic game come back from the dead. There's been great games that restored series as the former glories, like Deus Ex, and ones that failed epically. <clears throat> Duke Nukem Forever. Ha! But anyway, one of these games that I felt did an excellent job was Tesla Effect. Tesla Effect is another entry in the beloved Tex Murphy series. As the name states, the game has a lot to do with Nikola Tesla and his inventions. Sure, a game could have talked about his well-known inventions, such as Alternating Current, but who would want to play a game about that? I would. The game dives into some of Tesla's deeper and darker inventions, including a device to communicate with the dead. As far-fetched as it sounds, Tesla did work on projects like this. Today, on the New Age Gamers, we are going to dive into the science behind Tesla Effect and how the man we thought just created AC Power researched so much more. The main antagonist in Tesla Effect is a man named the Translator. His main goal is to bring Tesla's invention of a bridge between the real and spirit world to life and which he calls the Immortal Coil. He builds a copy of the Warden Cliff Tower in the deserts of New Mexico. In order for his invention to work, he needs to get two other inventions of Tesla, the Spirit Radio and the Tesla A. Both of the in-game inventions are based on their real-life counterparts. The Spirit Radio was an invention Tesla made in the late 1800s to guess what? help communicate with the dead. His invention was made of nickel detectors and relays with the inductor capacitor circuit. Now, one can listen to AM radio with this little thing, though I have a feeling hearing the Cubs lose the World Series wasn't on his main agenda. According to Tesla, My first observation positively terrified me as there was a presence in them, something mysterious, not to say supernatural, and I was alone in my laboratory at night. The sounds I am listening to every night at first appeared to be human voices conversing back and forth in a language I cannot understand. I find it difficult to imagine that I am actually hearing human voices from people not of this planet. There must be a more simple explanation that has thus eluded me. What Tesla was hearing come out of his spirit radio likely would have been nothing more than strange noises coming out of his primitive radio. But Tesla was interested in the supernatural and possibly that there was something after death. The final part of the Immortal Coil is a Tesla egg. This invention again is real, created by Tesla called the Egg of Columbus. This egg was presented at the 1893 World Fair in Chicago. <gasps> what? Father Comstock was actually Tesla! No, Dr. Lutes was actually Nikolai yeah. Tesla! Sh Shut up! L okay. Go away! <laughs> this invention demonstrated the principles of the rotating magnetic field. This egg would spin on its axis because of its gyroscopic action. Now just because all three aspects of the immortal coil, Wardenclyffe Tower, the Spirit Radio, and a Tesla egg, are real, does it mean Tesla was trying to build a tool to bridge a gap that divides living and dead? Of course not. That's insane. However, Tesla's former mentor and rival, Thomas Edison, was working on similar projects in his life. With that, though, other forms of communication with the dead were popular at the time, such as seances. So let me ask you a question. With the cultural drive to patch the rift between living and dead and to bring closure, could a scientist like Tesla or Edison hear what they wanted to hear when they put their ears up to their machines? Or was it truly a paranormal encounter? Thanks for watching.